Hi, welcome to SolidWorks 2020 video tutorial, the next part in the WW109 fighter plane series. Today I want to model the Haith rudder. In order to save time, I will just scale this wing and reuse that wing as Haith rudder. So if you want to have a more detailed one, you have to model it on your own. Now, in order to scale it, I need first a copy. So I want to use move body move copy again. Let's go to insert features move copy. And I want to have a copy and I want to move this one here in X direction. Let's take a look. And let's move it over here and also up a bit and confirm. Now I want to scale it. Let's see where the scale command is. Let's go to insert feature, sorry, insert features and there is the scale command and I want to scale this one and maybe not with the origin or with the coordinate system what would be the century, let's see, the parameter should be 0 0.4 let's confirm and see where it goes with that century, there yeah, it moved over here. That's not the way I want it, so let's do it once more. Let's go again for insert, features, scale, select it, and let's do it with the origin, which will move it to a different place, but that doesn't really matter. But it should be aligned. So I will move it once more and maybe bring back that image sketch, make it visible so I can position it better. Let's go for insert features, move copy. Now I don't want to have a copy, I just want to move it. I want to translate it up there, over here, and let's take a look. Should be about this. No, it seems it's there, so let's move it down a little bit. Maybe like this. Yeah, that's okay. And confirm. And now maybe hide that image sketch once more. I've already tried to use a face face fillet here and it didn't work, so I will trim. So, where's my trim command? I want to trim. I want to use this surface as tool and I want to keep this side and confirm. Great. Now I want to use the trim command once more. I want to use this as tool. Let's clear that selection, go here and this should be kept and confirm. And now I can do a edge fillet after I've knitted those surfaces. So this one and that one should be knitted. Confirm. And now I can do just a normal or usual edge fillet. I will go for 80 millimeters. 
let's select the edge and also the other ones nope I don't want the face I just want that edge here let's confirm it and I should get a nice fillet here great so maybe same procedure here and I also want to trim that main fuselage and then afterwards mirror the complete half of that plane I've just noticed I don't have to trim it because I've made a mirror here so I could just hide the mirror or delete that mirror so maybe just delete it confirm and now let's see if we can trim this with a face face or I go for the same procedure I want to trim I want to trim with not with this one but with that tool here and I want to keep this side confirm now the other way around that's the no sorry that's the tool and that will be the part I want to keep let's confirm this one now knit it this one and that one confirm and now do a fillet maybe go for let's try 30 millimeter select the edge and also this one the small one here that one like this and see if it works with that radius yes it does nice and now I can mirror that body so go for a mirror I want to mirror a body and the mirror face plane would be of course the main sketch plane where is it there you go and I want to mirror the complete body confirm let's show the propeller it should be the last one here great and of course you can do those gun barrel cuts here yourself and also that air intake here should be no problem so i hope it was helpful hope you enjoyed this one if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan sorry to my facebook cat fan page i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye